Good afternoon guys, how are we doing today? This afternoon's reading is going to be for the sheep people. Um, and just like the previous videos, we are using this uh, Chinese Oracle deck here, um, which I use only for these videos, nothing else, just these videos. Um, but I also use uh, the Chinese horoscope book here by uh, Theodora Lau and Laura Lau. It's, um, it's one of the best books that I've um, ever had or read or used for the Chinese horoscope, if I'm honest. It's not a promotional um, ad or anything. I'm just saying that this is a really good book for those that are interested, and I use this quite a lot. So I will just give that a shout out. Um, but in regards to the cards and the readings today, what we're going to be doing is looking at the week previously, the present situation and the week coming. Just briefly, nothing in depth, nothing too much, nothing like crazy. Um... Not a personal read, just just an overall kind of um, outlook or prediction for the sheep people or the goat people. So we've got sheep or goat, whichever you prefer, it makes no difference. The personality remains the same. The deck I have, as I say, is the Chinese Oracle deck. I've got 24 cards, 12 are white, 12 are black, yin and yang. We've got a white rat, a black rat, a white sheep, a black sheep. We've got a white dragon, a black dragon, and they all mean different things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle these cards. I'm going to close my eyes so I can't see the cards and I'm not influenced or anything like this. And I'm just going to just think about the sheep people and I want a reading for those sheep people, the intention for the, you know, why I want these cards, etc., um, I can't see if they're black, I can't see if they're white, I know that, um, you know, it's uh, they're not the best shuffling in the world, but you kind of get the point. I like to think that whatever is for you is going to happen anyway, so, you know, it doesn't matter how you shuffle them or whatever, as long as there's some intention put there, you can pick the cards out that are meant to be. So I think I'm going to leave it at that, and I'm going to take the bottom one for the past, which is there. I'm going to take this middle one here for the present situation, and I'm going to take the second to top one, yep, for the week coming. That's what I'm going to do, what we got. Right, so we've got two blacks and a white. So, as I've said previously before, if you're... If you're um, a regular, you'll know what these mean, but if you are new and it's your first time, I'll just go over it again. The black cards are basically the negative cards. You know, this basically means that things could have been better, things can be better, things could have been better for you, and it doesn't feel great right now where you're at. And the white cards, they mean uh, things could be worse, things could be a lot worse. So what I'm seeing here is that your week last week was pretty negative, or you were in a kind of slump. You're still kind of in that slump, to what degree we'll find out in a minute, but things are definitely going to look up, but we'll get to that one in a moment as well. We're going to jump straight on in here with the first card, and we've got the tiger card. We've got a black tiger card um, for the sheep for the previous week just gone. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing, even though tigers do like to eat sheep in the wild. Um, there is no outright confrontation or serious rivalry between the sheep or the tiger. Um, so again, you may have felt like, because the tiger is quite a protective card that you've needed to either be the protector of someone this week, or you've felt that, like you've needed protection. You have felt like you've needed protection or you've needed somebody around you to just kind of look out for you, or there's been some sort of person that has been vulnerable and in need of your protection. And you've had to kind of step up to do that in order to, uh, in order to make that wrong or right. I feel potentially this has uh, resulted in you feeling quite drained, like a kind of lack of confidence maybe that you've uh, you've kind of uh, felt that maybe people have been using you a little bit or people have been trying to trying to coerce you into being that protector or to stick up for them. Um, and you've had to take sympathy on people and gone, oh, OK, out of pity, I suppose I'll step in. Um, and just kind of like be there, even if it was just to listen to somebody, or maybe you've needed someone to listen. You've needed somebody to listen to you. And there's maybe been someone there, maybe not, maybe not. Maybe you've not had anybody there, and that's why you're feeling a bit low about it. You're feeling a bit low because there's nobody been there for you to kind of, there's been nobody there to kind of talk to. You know, there's been nobody there to kind of help you out. Potentially you thought maybe there was a friendship that was stronger than it is, Maybe potentially you feel like that you could have spoken to somebody or gone to somebody, but they kind of let you down and disappointed you and they weren't there for you when you needed them um, and that you needed that person to be there for you. 
And I think that's because the people around you or the particular person around you that when the going got tough, they they left. When the going got tough for you, they they kind of went, okay, this is too much for me. And they kind of just left you in it. And potentially that person that you've had to protect is actually yourself. You've actually had to protect yourself a lot this week and try to keep your head above water almost. Almost like you are being stalked and you are the prey and there is a predator in your midst. And that's what's made you feel uneasy and you're feeling a little bit uncomfortable because you know you're being watched. You know there's something around the corner. And that is why right now you're keeping, you're keeping yourself close to home. You're keeping yourself close to home. You're keeping yourself and your family close. You are appreciating what there is around you right now in the sense of family, in the sense of, you know, where you're at and what's going on. You're keeping a very close eye on the home right now and on and on where you're at with uh, family and maybe children. Um, something's happened. You're feeling very protective, potentially over the family. You're feeling very protective over your family. You're feeling very protective and you feel like something's happened where you've had to do stuff. You've had to do stuff and protect something, maybe yourself or you've had to put th you've had to put things in place in order to in order to look out for yourself and those closest to you, for whatever reason that was. And it's not been a necessarily uh, easy time for you. In fact, it's been quite hard. This, 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 is, this is kind of like showing that things have been relatively difficult for you. The rat card as well. I mean, sheep and rat, they don't have much in common. Um, maybe you've now just kind of lost your sympathy. Maybe that's it. You were sympathetic to something and you, you had this sympathy, but you're finding it hard to be sympathetic currently. You were sympathy. Somebody has taken advantage of your sympathy and your symp sympathetic nature. Somebody has done that. Um, and it's made you feel quite... Um, I don't know, it made, made you feel a little bit uncomfortable when out of place. You feel odd about it. And I get a feeling that maybe it's got something to do with money or family. There's definitely something going on. Maybe you need to, maybe that's it. You need to look out for your finances right now and keep your family co close. And you've worked, you've worked this out. I think you've worked this out. You've had to protect your assets, protect your money. You've had to look after your family. You've had to pull everything closest to you that means a lot to you. And you've had to start looking after it because something has happened. But that's not to be, you know, that's not to be all doom and gloom because there is something that is happening which is quite creative on the horizon. There is some sort of create, creative vibe happening here. Um, and maybe it's you. Maybe you've just got to a point where you're at your tether. You've lost it. You know, or, you know you're, you're close to losing it. Um, it's boiling up. You can feel yourself getting a bit more aggressive, a bit more agitated, a bit more frustrated. Things are hard, you know, um, there's challenges ahead. You're feeling like, you know, you're going to have to go in this with a more robust attitude. Not a sympathetic one, but a robust attitude. Um, you're feeling indifferent right now. Like there's animosity in the air. You can sense it. I can sense it. I can feel that there's some sort of animosity going on and you're not happy about it. Hmm. Yeah, I think right now there is definitely something going on, whether it's financially or family oriented, where you have had to step up and be the protector or you've had to do something in order to to rectify what went wrong. Um, and I have got a feeling that it's got something to do with financial or family. But moving into the week coming, you're looking at the ox and it is a white card. So you are going to come to the realisation you are going to come to a realization. You're going to have an epiphany moment. This week is going to be relatively good for you in a sense because uh, that ox does show signs of slowing down and it does show signs of, you know, thinking and thought. However, the ox is the opposite in the conflict circle with the sheep. So there is a conflict here. You are going to have to be open to communication. You're going to have to keep the doors of communication open this week. You are going to see a real difference in what that makes. If you are communicating this week openly and, and more with the flow, you are going to see the benefits of that. You're going to reap the rewards of that. However, however, if you do not, you're going to find yourself very stagnant. You're going to find yourself in a very conflicting place and in a, in a very uncomfortable world because um, you really do need to kind of think about things before you move. 
You really do right now. You are walking on thin ice, my sheepy friends. Right now, I think that your subjective outlook on life is probably not going to serve you well. Um, I think realistically, looking at things subjectively have got you into this dilemma. Um, so potentially, you need to be a bit more black and white with things. You need to be a bit more rigid with it. You need to be a bit more firm with it. Um, and that's gonna that is that isn't gonna um, that isn't going to go well for you if you're not in the right space for it. And I think that's why there's a lot of thinking to do. You really need to have a lot of patience right now, um, a lot of patience. And that's not going to be good for you. You're going to be frustrated by that. But at the at the same time, it will be good for you because you'll you'll come out better in the end. This is a positive card. And it will mean that if you do keep the lines of uh, communication open, you do talk about things, you do express yourself, you are open in an honest way. Keep it black and white. Keep it black and white. Keep it very simple and basic. And things will potentially look a little bit better for you this week than it has done the previous week. And I think that's because whatever you've been through this week is definitely going to uh, take its toll and it's going to provide you with some preparedness for the week to come here. But we will see because next week we'll go over this again um, when we do the sheep cards um, for the next week and go over this week next week as well so uh we'll see how you get on and if you've enjoyed the cards and you've enjoyed the readings then please do hit the subscribe button uh give us a like leave some comments please um so i kind of know and get a feel of what people um you know uh how they how they feel about the cards and the readings and stuff because it really does it really does make a difference and it is um very much appreciated i don't do personal readings for these cards um but i do do personal readings with my dragon oracle cards by diana cooper which are here um and again it's just for fun i don't charge and i don't um you know I'm not promoting the cards or Diana Cooper. I'm just saying this is what I use. So if anybody's interested, then please do get in touch. So I also have the Dragon book here by Diana Cooper, which also means that the readings are a little bit more in depth. That It's a little bit more uh, personal um, and we can definitely get uh, a lot more from those cards and personal readings one to one than uh, the readings that I do with the Chinese Zodiac because these Chinese Zodiac, Chinese Zodiac videos and readings are simply just uh, you know a rough idea. However, if you have enjoyed it, then please do hit the subscribe button and let me know. And I'm going to see you guys tomorrow in a video where we will be doing the reading for the monkey people. Monkey people tomorrow morning then, guys. So I will see you then. If not, I will see all you lovely sheep people next Thursday when we go over your cards again. Have a great day, guys.